Hello viewers, welcome to the section Exploring Service Mapping. In this section we will learn about activating the Service Mapping plugin, Business Service Population and Customizing Service Mapping. Now we move on to the video Activating the Service Mapping plugin. In this video we will see what a business service is and see how we create business service maps. Service mapping helps to discover all business service in the organization and to create a detailed relationship map of the configuration items and the business services. Service mapping support different operating systems and applications. You will need to customize the discovery pattern to include any other application that the service mapping does not support. What is a business service? Business is the core activity or a purpose forming an organization. There are certain offerings that the business has to offer and there are multiple components that support the business, including IT. This does not produce a tangible commodity. This is called a business service. It is important to understand business services for us to be able to proceed with service mapping. Business services are going to be core for service mapping where the service mapping will reference the business service that is defined to. Next we will move on to activate the service mapping plugin. Service mapping is a separate subscription that needs to be purchased and activated by the ServiceNow Professional Services team. We have some plugins that we can activate in service mapping. They are Event Management, Service Mapping Core, IP Based Discovery, Pattern Designer, and Service Watch Suite Commons. First, we will activate plugin from ServiceNow Demo Instance. We have logged into our demo instance and clicked on Action drop down and clicked on Activate Plugin. Search for the Service Mapping plugin and click on Activate. This will take a while to complete the actions, so we will get an email when the plugin is activated on our instance. Further, we will learn more about how to use service maps. MID servers are located in enterprise private networks. These facilitate communication between different infrastructure components. The number of MID servers required depends on the size of the infrastructure. The service mapping is putting one more prerequisite on the MID server. Compared to Discovery Service Mapping requires .NET Framework 3.5 on the MID server. Discovery requires .NET Framework 4.0, so you will need them both on the MID servers to be able to run service mapping. To see the list of MID servers set up, type Service Mapping on the Application Navigator. Navigate to Service Mapping, Administration, MID Servers. Click on MID servers and here you will see the list of all the MID servers that are configured already. Now we need to make sure the right credentials are set up for service mapping. To access the credentials, navigate to Service Mapping, Administration and Credentials to bring up a list of all the existing credentials. Click on New to create a new credential for the service mapping. Clicking on New, you will see the list of credentials you would like to create. It is the applicative credentials that are specific to service mapping. The applicative credentials are the credentials you need to get the permissions you need to map specific application. Depending on your needs, select the right type of credential. In our case, we will click on Windows Credentials and fill in the required information. In the name field, we will give a meaningful name for the credential, let's say Service Mapping. And in Applies to Fields, you can specify that the credential should be applied to a specific MID server or all MID servers. In our case, we will select Specific MID Servers. This is important to specify in case you are using multiple MID servers for multiple purposes. In some cases, there might be MID servers used for event management, discovery and so on. Next, click on the MID servers lock icon. Click on the magnifying glass icon and select MID server 1 from the list of MID servers. Then in the username field, specify the credentials, username and the password. Once you have filled in all the required fields, click on submit. There is a related link test credential to make sure you have given the right credentials. In this video we have activated the service mapping plugin.